Hi, my name is Mike Mahan, and I'm the Vice President of Sales with NBT. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a network group with two NVET1801s, part of our T-Bus line of Ethernet transmission products. A network group typically consists of a device, an ET1801, near the camera end, connected to another ET1801 at the head end, which in turn is then connected to an Ethernet switch or a VMS. In step one, we will gather the materials. Those materials include two NVET1801s, our patch cable, and again, we can use an RG45 patch cable or a coax jumper, a paper clip, and the NVT power supply. In step two, we will connect the hardware. Use the RJ45 patch cable connected to the T-Bus port, which is immediately next to the BNC port, on both of the ET1801s. Then we will apply power to one of the ET1801s, which will then power both devices. Once the blue LEDs are solid and no other LEDs are on, we are ready to proceed to the next step. First, we will press the, depress the join button on the bottom of the first ET1801, and then press the join button on the bottom of the second ET1801. You'll notice that the LEDs will go through a process where they exchange passwords, and eventually they will join each other in a network group. Once the blue LED is illuminated solid, and both Link LEDs are illuminated in the lower right-hand corner of the RJ45 where the RJ45 patch cord is connected. Once those are both, both illuminated, we now have a joined network group. In step three, we will join an additional NVET1801 to this network group. Simply disconnect one of the 1801s. Bring in the new 1801, connect it to the patch cable, wait for only the blue LEDs to be on in their solid position. Again, depress the join button on the bottom of the first ET1801, the join button on the bottom of the second ET1801. They will go into join mode, exchange passwords, and once again, when the blue LED is solid and both of the link lights are on, in the lower right hand corner of this RJ45 jack, we now have joined the two units. Now let's unjoin this ET1801. Unjoining is basically setting the unit back to its factory settings so that you can deploy it in another network group or set it aside for future deployment. To do that, we will again depress the join button on the bottom of the unit for approximately 13 seconds. After 13 seconds, you'll see a number of LEDs flash once on and off, and that indicates that this unit is now reset to factory settings. If you have any further questions on this process, please do not hesitate to contact us at area code 650-462-8100 or at info at nvt.com. Thank you for your time and watching this video.